Google has consistently ranked the best employee in the United States. It receives more than two million applications a year, but only thousands make the cut. Your odds are better getting into Harvard, Princeton, or Yale. <laughs> Laszlo Bach is Google's senior vice president of people operations. That is another term for human resources. His new book is titled Work Rules, insights from inside Google that will transform how you live and lead. Laszlo Bach, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my book is somewhere else, but here. <laughs> it, 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 you can I, use mine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked you that. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> tell me about the Google culture, because at essence here is the culture uh, that you think will attract the best people. Yeah, well, the culture from the outside, you look at it, and it looks like bean bags and lava lamps and free food, and that's all there is to it. But from the inside, there's actually a lot more. And you could take those things away, and it would still feel very much like Google. It, it boils down to three things. One is a mission that matters. And I know that sounds a little trite, but this mission of organizing the world's information is compelling because it's aspirational. It's not about shareholders. It's not about money. It's about how can we make the world better. The second thing is transparency. We share tremendous amounts of information with people inside the company. So, for example, Eric Schmidt, our chairman, every quarter comes to the company and does a meeting in all hands with everyone in the company where he shares the board materials. This very confidential, how's the business doing, how are products, with everybody. Because even we, the new people. Even the new even people, the new especially, people. especially the new ones. Because mm -hmm. we believe if, you're, if you believe people are good, you'll treat them that way. Mm -hmm. And if you treat them that way, you share. The third is voice. And this is the idea that employees are allowed to actually shape the company. And not just allowed to, but it's part of the responsibility of being there. And these three things, mission, transparency, voice, actually define the culture and how it works. And, and that's what I think attracts a lot of people to the and company. And you encourage the people to weigh in on a daily basis. What I thought was interesting, your philosophy about managers. Mm. Google managers cannot decide unilaterally whom to hire, whom to fire, how someone's performance is rated, whom to promote. What's the point of being a manager? That, that, <laughs> those are all the things you want to do. Yeah, I know. Well, right. That's what a boss does. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Well, what we found is when you become a manager, you suddenly want to treat people differently, different from how you're treated as an employee. As an employee, you want freedom. You want people to sort of you know, encourage you, support you, coach you, create opportunity, clear bottlenecks. But when you're a manager, you suddenly want to control, right? You and manage pay. And there's all these psychological things that happen where an employee wants to kiss up to their manager and skew <laughs> things. So by taking power away from managers, all the manager is left being able to do is help. Mm. One of the things you write about is pay people unfairly. What do you mean? Well, what we mean is that if you think about human performance, the traditional HR view is that there's a bell curve and that you've got sort of 80% in the middle, 5 or 10% at the bottom, 5 or 10% at the top. The reality is if you look at things like athletics, nobody thinks it's bizarre that Kobe Bryant scores way more than anybody else and is paid way more than anybody else. But that's sports. If you look at human performance, whether it's people who've won Academy Awards, people who are elected to elected positions, people who work in companies, salespeople, finance people, the range of human performance is way wider than we normally and intuitively think. All right, so you say judge people on performance. Yeah. Absolutely right. Yeah. Before we go, I want to get to this. So let's assume you want to go work for Google. Yeah. What, what is it that you need to have and what is it you need to emphasize to increase your chances. To get yeah. your attention. Yeah. yeah. Well, so the conventional wisdom is, oh, it matters where you went to school. We care about credentials and Ivy Leagues. Right. We don't. We used to when we were small. We were wrong. Mm -hmm. The right thing is we just look at what somebody's accomplished. So the number one thing we look for is sort of problem-solving ability, cognitive ability. Can you take a difficult problem, pull it apart, figure out how to solve it? And can you demonstrate having done that earlier in your life? Mm -hmm. The next most important is leadership. And that means for us stepping in when you see a problem, but just as importantly, Lazo. stepping out. Lazo Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Work Rules comes out tomorrow. Thank you very much.